Hello and welcome to a plugin tutorial on the plugin admin player menu. This plugin I've made myself and it actually has a couple cool features. Uh, first of all, just to get it working properly on the first startup, you'll need to download just the placeholder API if you want to use placeholders. If you don't, you can just skip this whole part and just move on. This is only to make the basic uh, config work. So to start off, uh, the basic plugin once you start up it will give you the default config and default control panel this is just a basic menu if all the players that are online shows you that all the players are online which is just me it will show you a menu and when you click on that person these are the things that you can do to them you can teleport to them you can do slash scene i don't have essentials installed so all these commands are custom that you can put in you can see how much time i've played blah 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 you can, all these are from statistics from placeholder API. If you don't have placeholder API, these will come up as invalid placeholders. Uh, these are all commands that you can do yourselves. These are just decorative items that will go back to the menu that you just were. If you go over to admin uh, offline, it shows you all, all the players are offline. And if there is a player that is online, their head will pop up. As you can see, my head pops up and apparently some of these don't work. <laughs> Still a bunch of bugs. It's a plugin. What do you expect? You can see the page they're on, my players are on. You can see that each player changes as you go. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, it saves all the data that you go to. So if you go over here, you're on page 15, you're still on page 15. If you go over to page 11, click on something, I don't know, maybe you go here, the, the command doesn't work, and you go back, it still saves it. So it's pretty cool, pretty nifty. It's pretty nice. You can also, there's a bunch of commands you can do if you do such admin help. Uh, shows the admin online, admin offline, admin reload, just reloads the config, and the com and the control panel as well. And you can also search for players actually. So if you're searching for a player, maybe they're offline or something that we can search for. Let me just search for my admin on my other server. Uh, there we go. I'm Isaac Best 777. So I found it. It says player found opening. The control panel and there you see it found it found it and it does whatever you want you can execute commands on them if it the command is allowable while they're offline if it doesn't work if it's not it, if the player is online and the command needs the player to be online it will execute and so on and so forth now let's get into the config because this is actually where the fun part is if you go over to the config.yml there is a couple of nifty things so the general here is just the next page item the last page item the current page item so you can see that's just changed so these items are actually these the blah, blah, blah. it is this so actually if you go over here and there's more than 54 people it will have another page and there'll be a next current and last page uh, button but here since there's a lot of people here you can see this Right here is next page, current page, and last page. So it's changes. So it's changed the color to actually be uh, what's it called green, right? And make it underscore. I believe underscore is that, or let's just make it italic. So yeah, these do support color code, so on. Uh, search command. So this is basically if it found the player, it sends the message to them that they're gonna. It's gonna open it. And also if it says fill message will execute no matter what if it doesn't find it. Uh, this list placeholder right here actually shows you how many players are similar to the thing that you type. So let's see admin search and we just type in that. Doesn't find anything. It says no suggestions actually. Why is that? Uh, let's just type in A. Whatever. And it shows you a list of players that has an A in their name. Right? Shows you cannot find player A suggestions and it just shows you a bunch of players that will probably have an a in them of course it's just one letter and yeah uh the menu here it just shows you blah, blah blah if they're online it'll show you the head if you want that true then yes if they're if this is false you want to enchant the item so let's actually put this to false Let's enchant the item and the item will be wool green, right? Alright, so we have that. Now let's do confirm. This uh, confirm is actually if you do a command that is uh, risky. So let's say 
risky commands or like bans. If I click if I click ban, it's not gonna execute it immediately. What I actually do is come up with a confirmation screen. And it'll be like, uh, click here to confirm, blah blah blah, and I'll show you the command that will execute. And cancel will just go back to the same thing you just were. All right. If you go yes. Right, that's actually a bug. I gotta fix that. You remind me. Uh, accept and deny. You can change the names here. Let's so change this to maybe dark purple. This one to maybe orange, just to show you that it works. I uh, can change the prefix, uh, the reload uh, message, the no permission message, and then here's the menu. These are just the basic things. Uh, this is actually for the search menu, I believe. Oh no, for all the menus. So it'll be click to open blah blah blah's control panel, right? Now let's show you the IP, you can actually remove this, and let's actually do that right now. You can do that. Uh, these are just the titles for all the menus. Uh, let's just make a, let's just make these all uh, green for a second so you can see that is live and reloadable live. If you save that, go back to the menu to the Minecraft and let's do such admin reload. We go over here and see see that it all changes. The IP is gone, and as well as the offline here. You can see it's all live. It can all change at all. It needs to, even these changed, right? So that's it for the config. If you go over to the control panel, which is the fun part and what part where you're going to be mostly, is all the items that are actually shown here. So these are all the sections that you can edit so the optional ones are of course back confirm see permission and lore those are all uh what, what do you call them optional uh so the first item that i have is the ban item which is this guy this is the ban item so you can see that the name is ban and then the placeholder for player so it'd be ban x whatever x panda yeah and then a space for the lore, you can actually just remove the lore completely. And then you can have it as a list, just one line, blah, blah, blah. You can do ban, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you get it, you get it. And then placeholder API, it's all of these uh, support placeholder API, even the commands. So in the command here, you do not put a slash, it will actually, it won't execute. So the command here is just ban, blah, blah, blah. You can actually do a list of commands as well. It will do. It'll execute that, and then it'll also make the clicker, whoever is clicking the item, it'll also make them broad, broadcast or whatever command you want them to do. So some of these, of course, you want some staff members to have some permissions, right? You don't want them to see the ban player, even though they can't execute the command. You don't want them to see it, right? You can do whatever command, whatever permission you want. It's any kind of third-party permission, whatever. And then confirm screen is if this screen pops up, if this screen pops up, right? Oh, I gotta fix these bugs. <laughs> There's a temp ban, blah, 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 and yeah, so on and so forth. You can actually, I'm gonna remove the lore from one of them. So I'm gonna remove the lore completely. I'm gonna remove the confirm completely. I actually believe the command is also optional as well if you go down here yeah the command is also optional but i do believe you need either i'm not sure but yeah uh, these are all the decoration items that i have these which are these which just go back to the same menu that you were before you can select the slot of which each item goes that's also that's mandatory the slot and it does increase as the slot goes so let's see let's uh, remove all the ones that are after 18. Everything that's after 18, let's remove them. And then the also the, what's it called? The embassy item. Yes, here. Right there. Let's uh, reload the command real quick, the plugin real quick. And then reload, go over here, click whoever, and you can see it adjusts the menu accordingly. Whatever is the maximum value of whichever slot you put, it will put the menu to that size, which is great. And yeah, that's all you really need to know about this plugin. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's completely free 
and uh, it's actually kind of neat for any admins that just want their staff members to literally just type in slash admin, click the player's head, and ban them instantaneously. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Enjoy.